Hello everyone, this is Phone here. Welcome to my next let's play. And he's put something in with Megator first. It's the Romo Pack. Now let's turn on the game system. Oh, very low. Sunsoft. Japan supply system. Some sort of cat thing. Welcome to Let's Play the Million Twist. So we're gonna be doing a not understand. Let's play. Okay. Then, then we, then we're going to show you how to play first. New training. Yeah. Right. You just talk to A. Hello, DB. This is the training room. Where you use your, uh, use your tongue. There are five rooms. Each room practice different tongue. Take the time clear each room as fast as you can. So anyway, you need to do it in each room once you get there. Try to get police. Each room as fast as you can. Yeah, that's the bunny guy, and there's the camera. Run the control stick. Here's some basic controls. You press A to jump. Z to use your tongue. Press R Z to do this. Press R to do shooting technique. You press L to change your camera. Or technique. And that's why you press pause to pawn. Now those things are your life. Now it's not going to be a 100% let's play, it's just going to be being in let's play. Anyway, let's go into the first room. Now let's talk to him. You must look up all the tongue keys in the middle of this room with your tongue and clear it. Press the B button and roll your tongue to click up. The key is press it again and do a machine gun attack. So, let's be taking each time it ends. Alright, redo. Fire it. your attacks. Yeah. The more enemies you have, the more attacks you have. And that was pretty fast. And, and you know what? That was in the record. That was the first training room. You can do it every, any, 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 any times you want. Now in the second training room. Is anything Here, you must respond to the fire sprays on the platform. You clear. Or you you blow them all. Pull down the arm and move. If you want to see, you're 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 either take aim. Yeah, you use your take aim. So here, you know, you need to take aim. It's one of the easiest things to use aim. One of the times we want to use the camera. Yeah. So you may, what you want to do is just fire at the bombs. And there we go. That was this training room. Yes, you know Davy is number two. Yeah. There's three other playing characters. A uh, two-ish character named Jack. The orange character named Fred and a pink character named Linda. She's like a girl. So he's all boys. And in here. In this room you need to use a tongue high jump to get on the top of the stairs. This is E button when you're walking up the bottom flip upside down into your your tongue. Press A button with just the right time to jump high into the air. So what you want to do? You do this. Yeah. You just do this. That. But some walls you won't be able to do this. You want to do this. So where you're at the highest point, you're going to go up. You need to aim it accurately. Yeah, but if you don't aim it accurately, you won't be able to, to go anywhere. There we go. There we go, that was this training session. Yeah. There are some parts in this game where you have to, to use that technique. Also, you that's where you end up. It's easier to do in the walls, but sometimes you need to aim it very accurately. So, yeah. Also, the fourth training room. 
This is the quick movie room. Press the B button to grasp the stakes with. You're done. Keep falling down the B button and move to the next stake. You fall come back here and start again. Yes, and that's the cancel. You press the B button to hold each stake. Yeah. Yeah. But your tongue only going a short distance. And apparently I failed. I'm gonna do it all the way back. Now, every time you fail at one of these, you have to do it all over again. So we start. Okay, I can't see it. We'll try it again. Just change your camera angle. There we go. Yeah, that's the truth that you going have your tongue going a certain amount of distance. Where your tongue can also go other places. So you want to aim where it's going accurately or else you won't be able to go anywhere. There you go. That was the quick move room. I gave training number four. Not a new record, but Yeah. So right. Anyway, the fifth and final training room is in here. This is where you practice quick rotation. Press the wheel and grasp the, the so your tongue. If you move close to the direction you wish to, to reach the same button at the same time. Yes, this is one of the skills you learn. Maybe you want to go a certain direction. seconds. Yeah, I had a little bit of trouble that time. Yeah, well at least you make things you want. Anyway, when you're done, you just just exit or quit. Alright. Now then now we're doing the training part, Rumi starting the main game. So there are four characters. There's Davy, there's Jack, there's Fred, and there's Linda. Now then, each character has different eyes and colors. Yeah, Linda is much different because she's the only girl of them all. Fred is like tired. And if, you, if you're guessing that we're going to be playing as Davy, here we go. It's, a, it's beautiful weather. So we start as a chameleon. Who's busy? No time to waste. It's, it's that bunny again. I wonder why he's going. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm running late. I wonder where he's going. Oh no. He's gonna get solid easily. Why is he in such a hurry? What in the world is that pot? Just into that pot. A person who calls the rabbit, and that's us. That's the uh, that's who we are. Susan so in there, and then he decides to jump into the pot, and guess what? We end up in some strange world. Ooh, the change is changed shape. Yeah, this is what we look like. Yeah, so come on, I wonder where that rabbit went. Yeah, he's over there. So, welcome to the first area of the game. Let's talk to the rabbit. This is Jungle Line of Deep Lace and Mysterious World. To do the training room, you need to practice some body control. Get ready to do that. Anyway. This is not going to be a higher let's play, so... 
if you remember what we're supposed to get, then you should, then we're not getting everything. The main thing you want to do is collect all of these crowns. But we're just going to get a fizzy thing for extra. Anyway, so the main thing is you want to get to, through this world. Alright, no matter who cares your everyone seems to it. Here are some enemies. Yeah. Also, you move slower, your hand will get bigger the more enemies you have. Also, you just press Z. Z has them all. Z only has one. Just let you know. Yeah, those will... Yeah. For here, you can just do that. Or you just do this. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but this time you want to do this. Now this one. Hearts. They restore your health. Also, the things we saw at the beginning of the training mode lose your health. When you lose all those health, you actually get game over. You only have one life in this game. But thankfully, you get unlimited continues. So when you die, you don't want to go back to a certain segment. But you actually save. Also, the moon, when you want to start a time limit, well, you do have to get through certain areas for certain time limits. Okay, what I'm just doing is trying to get most of the crowns. So, I'll show you how to get a few crowns, but most of the crowns. And remember, when you get all the crowns, then you can beat the game, but we're not going to get all the crowns. And you just ignore the enemies and get that crown under there. But where falling off means means dying. But thankfully, you need to pay like like B. You need to pay some life in order to move on. And if you're at your last life, the life, then you have to stop moving on. Sorry. Anyway. There are a total of 60, uh, six, six stages. It's going to be a short display, so the first stage is the first stage of the game. Anyway, up there, the crown. Okay, the reason why we're getting crowns is because there's 50 crowns in the last stage. Anyway, welcome to the mining part of the general stage. Why would there be a mine in the general stage? You guys are there. Ow! That's how you get hurt. Also, they're still in your mouth. When you leave. Yeah, they're still in your mouth. Yeah. That's why they cause me ignoring. Yeah, there's also spiders. You can destroy all the spiders if you want. But for some reason, I'll just get these crowns. Yeah, the music changes sometimes when you sort of put area in. Now, this is the only stage you're getting twin crowns in. To let you know. At their stage, you won't be getting twin crowns anymore. Anyway, bad news. If you die, enemies will respawn. The enemies will respawn. Just want to remind you of that. Anyway. As long as you fall out of there. Yeah, see that? Enemies will respawn. That's one bad thing. And apparently you can't get over there, so that's gonna be an optional crown. Yeah, you see that? Sometimes the enemies can knock you completely off. That's annoying, that's my annoying thing. If you're not careful, you will really actually fall yourself off. And instead, it allows to lose two crap and uh, two health pieces of that. Thankfully, there's still more we can do. And there's two easy crowns for these enemies. So 
thankfully, for some odd reason, they take one hit. Come on! I do not want to die in the first episode of a Let's Play. No one will not. No one wants to die in the first episode of a Let's Play. We'll get game mode over though. Yeah, in order to move across, we need to watch this with the armadillos. Um, yes, so here's what we're going to do. Put your insert distance, and you can touch this. So you get that crown. And it's kind of over there. I believe... Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit risky. Let's just take the minecart and move on. Now this minecart segment. You need to hop from Yeah, you see over there? We need to jump off and you get a crown. You only need two more golden crowns in order to get twenty. And yeah. And the majority of projects we're going to be doing is like this style. Because you get a better camera angle. Now let's see. I'm gonna try doing getting that crown up there. So we get this heart. Yeah, that's how you get that crown the easy way. Yes. There's a total of 25 crowns in this in this stage. If you can get all 25, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. You want to end your, your jump. Yeah. Why do they keep jumping straight? to the door. I uh, really want to just jump. Why am I jumping at the door? Okay. I do not want to jump straight to the door. I really want to jump right at the there. So that's what we want to do. That's a good idea. Yeah, so that's the door he naturally kill you. So alright, it's recommended that you just like don't jump near the door, jump near the platform. Now, this is the part where the boss there's a boss in the next room. This crown and this will save whenever you are in the stage. And there are three datas. This is the completed file. We're gonna save in data four. So let's leave. You can also stage quit and exit. Also you can only exit this stage. So here we go. Here's the first boss. Each stage has a boss. So the first boss of community twist is. A gorilla. Now this is the easiest boss. You see these birds? You just need to knock it straight at him and knock him off the platform. And that's how you kill this boss. Too easy. Yeah. This is his death pose. He's hit by a boulder. And then, BAM! Safe one clear. Yeah. It's clutters in third time. Yeah. So there are six stages. See that crown icon? That means you got enough crowns. We got 20. So there are two stages now. We can go to stage four, two, or stage three. You want to clear all the stages, but we're actually going to clearing all the stages in order to beat the game. We're also going to be getting a few crowns, at least 10 crowns to each stage. Or maybe not. So anyway, since we only stage two is stage, let's do stage two. There's also the intro for Jungle Land. This is the intro for Ant Land. And now, alright, before the end of the next video, we'll show you the animation intro for Jungle Land. And then we'll be going to the third world. So anyway, this has been Fonaki for Let's Play Communion Twist. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.